Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Dale Jarrett's Green Bay Packers Ford from 1999. As you can see, this is an RCCA Select Nut Bank, so you got the typical generic RCCA box. A lot more colorful than they are now. It doesn't say production number, just limited edition, bank sticker, but nicely graphical and colorful, which is, you know, not something you really get anymore. Now they're just kind of black and white, <laughs> but. Not like the boxes are that important anyways when they're generic. Here's the car itself, and it is a nice looking car. I'm gonna clear up something right away and say that I'm not a Green Bay Packers fan. <laughs> it's just a nice paint scheme. The Ultra only raced this once that I can find in 1999. It was at Darlington. Not sure if other drivers raced it or something, but as far as this die cast goes. One inaccuracy is that the, first, the numbers were solid white on the real car. Not sure why they're like outlines of numbers on this one, but whatever. Glad they fixed that. It's almost mildly funny that Dale Jarrett was at Joe Gibbs Racing with the Redskins, and then now he's a running Green Bay Packers car too. <laughs> but on the hood, you have Green Bay Packers and a picture of a helmet. Ford Taurus number 11. Down the side, you have Powered by Rayovac. Texaco Havoline Mac Tools. On the B post, you have Coca-Cola Ford Quality Care. Uh, something Racing and Texaco. Probably says Robert Yates Racing, actually. On the back, you have... Jared something racing. Packers number 11. Got Green Bay logo on the deck lid. There you can see the bank slot. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. See that it says Green Bay Packers again. There's the end of detail if you want to see that. This is a bank, so obviously no trunk. There's the underside of the car if you want to see that. There you can see the key for the bank. <laughs> Does have these sticker tires. Overall, not too much to talk about the car like this, just kind of a nice paint scheme. I pretty much bought this as a gift for someone more than anything, but it's a cool car, you know. These late 90s cars deserve some pretty nice looking paint schemes. If you want this, it's very easy to get. There's plenty of versions out there. There's, you know, this version. There's just a regular action version. There's like a Team Caliber Rebel version, but so you have your options if you want a better diecast or you don't want a bank. But I think that's all I have to say. This has been a review of Dale Jarrett's Green Bay Packers Forge from 1999. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.